Hello. Oh. Welcome back. And today I will be showing you how to do a how to make a picture board. Cause right now all of my pictures are just on my vanity mirror and you can't really see yourself in the mirror. If that makes sense. So I've been wanting one for a while and I went to a garage sale and they were out a picture frame and it was 10 cents. So I got it and I've had a bunch of yarn and I'm just gonna show you how to make it and I hope you enjoy. The things you will need will be, the things you will need will be a picture frame. Like I said, this is just a picture frame I got from a um, garage sale. Then you want some yarn, preferably the wide one, a wider one, cause that it will be going across like that with the yarn. And another thing you'll need is inspiration papers. Papers that are just inspirational. I just got a few options here. Then you'll want to cut whichever one you choose down to side and down to size and stick it into the picture frame. Okay, so I've got my picture in my picture frame. It just says that the Earth without art is just a. Eh. And if you're wondering why I have a different picture frame, it's because the my other one broke because i didn't know how to open it so like the edges broke so we'll have to get that fixed it's not that big a deal so the first thing you want to do is you want to take your string and put it off to the side but close to you then you want to open up the picture frame take out the picture and have the glass it might be a little hard for you to see Not sure if you can see it very well. Then you'll want to do is you'll want to take one end of the string and just hold it. And then you'll want to take the string and very tightly wrap it around the glass. Once you get to the end, you just cut it off. And I'll be right back once I've finished that. So I've done that. And once you have done that, you want to take your picture frame. Carefully lift this up. And just stick it in there. With the raw edges out. And then you just want to. It in there then you want to take your picture and put it in then you want to have it like a normal picture like a normal pictorial and the reason i didn't choose a better background is because i only had this one this picture that fit this but i would recommend not using one that has words on it because you won't be able to read the words. So the reason you want to leave the string, like the reason you want to like glue the string onto the back is because if you want to change out the picture underneath or if you want to use the picture frame for something else or change the string color, then you can do that. So let me go gather some small photos to put in here and I'll be right back once I've done that. So now I've got some photos in it. Um, I recommend using a bigger picture frame, but I just used whatever I had on hand. I was gonna, I was supposed to use a bigger picture frame, but it ended up not working out. So I will get a bigger picture frame, or at least some sort of bolt, like, at least some sort of like maybe a piece of wood or something, and maybe I will attach it. Maybe I will attach the string to it. But so this is what I have so far. As you can see, the pictures. The pictures don't fall out because the string. 
And I really like it because all the pictures just stay in there really nicely. So yeah, I would really recommend to get a bigger picture frame if you want. And then another thing you can do is you can decorate it with like little bows and flowers. You can decorate it if you'd like. But I chose not to decorate it, but that's that's okay. That's okay. If you're wondering why I have this bandage, it's just I burnt myself kind of badly, but yeah. So, yeah, and then you can add whatever backing you want, whatever color string you want. This is just the colors I had on hand. So you can go all out and do whatever you'd like for this. Um, you can't really add a lot of pictures with a smaller picture frame, but then again, that, that's kind of okay. If you only got like one or two, maybe three pictures. So that was the end of my video. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you try out this DIY. And I definitely will keep it like that until I get a bigger piece of something to wrap the ribbon around. But until then, I will just have that. So if I make any changes or get a bigger piece of board i will show you how to make it for that and thanks for watching bye